Hello everybody, Akurai here, and welcome back to another Soul Calibur, uh, talks, well, another Akurai talks video, and another video in, uh, Soul Calibur 6. Um, so in today's video, I thought we'd talk about something that, to me, kind of crossed my mind as being kind of interesting, and kind of a thing that I think should be in fighting games in general, <clears throat> at least to some degree, because... It's what um, separates skilled players from one-shot pony players or one one-trick ponies, you know. And <clears throat> what I'm talking about is, of course, a punishment system. Um, well, the punishment system, a punishment system, or something that can be used as a as a possible cop out or even just a punishment. Um, could be, um, you know, I think that this would be a good system to incorporate into most fighting games. Um, because stuff like Street Fighter doesn't really have a so-called punishment system. Uh, or, as some people may call it, cop-out. Now, the cop-out for most people, if you don't know what the heck a cop-out is, is basically just an easy move that people can use to, to basically just say, you know what, I'm done here. There's, there's no reason, I'm going to just use this as a cheap-out move. And I mean, most one-trick ponies or people who don't know how to um, how to use fighting games are going to do is uh, is basically a cop out, which is basically as you go, you'll see here. Um, it's not this move, even though this is a Soul Calibur cop out move that I didn't mean to do, which um, you know did happen. Is I didn't mean to do this move in particular, but as far as cop out moves go, you know. You'll see that one of the main cop out moves that many people will go for is something like, for instance, a ring out. Which, I mean, for the most part, you know, is a natural a natural cop out for people who don't know how to fight. And, you know, this is why, you know, while cop outs are considered cop outs, they can also be used to punish people who don't know really how to fight. And once again, I'm going to just show you what I mean, what I mean by the fact that it's basically a cop out is when you... When you basically just ring out somebody, that's basically a cop out. The second type of cop out that you can use, at least in Soul Calibur um, 6, because there are up to 6 Soul Calibur or 6 cop out moves, it's like the edge reversal, or the reversal edge, as it's called. And um, this is a big, big cop out move for me, people to just kind of get people off guard. But um, for the factor of skilled players, you'll see that. that you know, that the reversal edge is also a, um, you know, a punishment move. And then here, yeah, of course, is the natural super, which is basically an easy cop-out move for most people. Again, it's something that you can also use to punish uh, punish people, but most of the time you'll see it being used, like the reversal edge, as a cop-out. Now, you're going to probably think, Akurai, isn't guard impacts a bit of a cop-out too? And, you know, for fighting games like Soul Calibur, where guard impact is a thing, yes, it could be considered a pop, a cop-out, And it, but it's so rarely used, it's so rarely seen that you'll see someone kind of do reverse impact to reverse impact, you, you're almost never going to see it happen. It's almost never going to be a thing where, where you'll find it to be like, oh, well, that happened. You know, it's it's more or less just a a well. Oh, okay. This guy, kn this person knows how to fight. Again, the guard impact is not so much of a cop out because it's hard to do. It's very very difficult to do a um, to do a guard impact, and and to time the guard impact perfectly requires some actual skill and some actual time and practice in the game. But stuff like the reversal edge, while well, I hope that never goes away in Soul Calibur, or even um, where where stuff like the reversal edge, which I really hope it never really goes away in Soul Calibur, um, you know, it is kind of considered a, a cop out, but it's also kind of one of those moves where where it can be used to punish other people, and um, you know, and you'll of course see a perfect example of that um, going forward as we move on to. An actual match, which I will show you a little bit of an actual match, just to show you how the cop out system kind of works. And there you guys kind of see that you know comboing into the cop out is also a possibility to a degree, but of course you know, but of course as it stands, you know you're not going to see someone just 
try to use the reversal to cop out of a to cop out of a or a combo and then try to push him into a corner to cop out of a to cop out of a ring, you know. Um nine out of ten times you'll probably see more people, you know, copping out using the um using the um you know using the old uh you know using just the old uh reverse edge reverse edge and then pushing pushing someone over time into the cop out ring. Um but I mean for the most part, you know, nine out of ten times you'll probably never see someone trying to reverse edge out of it, you know, for say. Um you know a lot of times you'll see that you know, it is basically a cheap cop-out move, and it is basically used less for punishing other players and more just to, for new players to kind of go, oh, I have this, it's easy to get out of something, um, I might as well do it, you know, and that's where we stand with, you know, the fact that, uh, you know, uh, you know, just in general, um, cop out you know, when it comes down to, uh, things, even, uh, to a degree, um, something like, even to a degree, something like, for instance, um, you know, for instance, something like, um, like using the, um, using someone like Nightmare is a bit of a cop-out in its own sense, you know, because obviously he's, um, he's a big powerhouse, so, you know, so while combos don't come easy to him, you know, it is easier to have him just kind of smash around into you, you know. But yeah, so anyway, so anyway, you know, it is the way it is, and um, you know, that's why I believe that personally, um, you know, utilizing the reverse edge or whatever is kind of, if you will, a cop-out in its own sense and in its own way, so, you know, and that's just how I feel, but, you know, with that being, having been said, I mean, hopefully you understand the, you know, the differences between having, like, for instance, some kind of cop-out, or just, and, or the, diff the reasons why I believe punishment system should be incorporated, because, you know, as it stands, in Street Fighter, there is no real punishment, you know. There's nothing that can make someone go, holy crap, this is not cool or not fair. You know, this is just a, um, this is just a crazy, you know, like, I gotta find a way out of it. And, you know, that's exactly what happens when you, when you see people trying to utilize the cop out system. But anyway, with that having been said and whatnot. Thank you everybody for joining me on this video. It's a little shorter than usual, I know that. But if you want to see what videos I drop next um, on my channel, you can always hit the subscribe button. I would definitely recommend it. Hit the bell notification too so you know when my next video drops next because I know you want to. I am live on Twitch on Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday for sure. And I am trying to in turn also make a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Saturday and potentially Sunday stream. Monday, Tuesday, and Sunday, I will be on for about two to three hours. And on Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday, I will be on for about four to five hours. But with that being said, thank you everybody for joining me today on this video. Thank you for watching this video. And until the next one, um, this is Akurai signing out and saying <clears throat> farewell, everyone.